In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for HF plus LiOH. This is hydrofluoric acid plus lithium hydroxide. With net ionic equations, the first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. This is our molecular equation. It's already balanced, so that's done. Next, we need to write the state for each substance. For hydrofluoric acid, this is a weak acid. Because it's a weak acid, it's not going to dissociate completely into its ions. It will still, though, however, dissolve in the water. So we're going to put AQ. It will be aqueous. Lithium hydroxide, strong base, so that's going to be aqueous, and it will dissociate into its ions. The products, we have this lithium fluoride. Fluoride's very soluble, so aqueous. And then water, that's a liquid. So we have the states. Next, we want to split the strong electrolytes, the strong electrolytes, into their ions. That'll give us the complete ionic equation. So hydrofluoric acid is not a strong electrolyte. So we're not going to split that apart in our net ionic equation. We're just going to keep it together as HF. I won't write the states each time. We'll do that at the end. Plus, lithium that's in group 1 has a 1 plus charge. And the hydroxide, the whole thing, has a 1 minus. So we'll have Li plus plus the hydroxide ion, OH minus. And those will be the reactants. In the products, we have a positive fluoride ion that's negative. So we have Li plus plus the fluoride ion, F minus. And then water, we don't split liquids apart. Keep that as H2O. So this is our complete ionic equation. And now we can cross out what are called spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. The only thing I see that's the same on both sides is this lithium ion here. Everything else is unique, so I'm going to cross that out. And when I do that, I end up with my net ionic equation for HF plus LiOH. Let me clean this up, add the states in, and then we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for HF plus LiOH. You'll notice that we have two hydrogens here, two hydrogens here, one oxygen, one oxygen, and then one fluorine and one fluorine. So it's balanced. Plus the charge is conserved. We have a negative charge on this side and just one negative charge on this side. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.